as much fun as you can get with your dog. Well, and my fortunate awards. The extreme and sold puppy right in front of me, and it's her day one. So you're pretty much filming her second session. We had one last night, and she was absolutely superb. So now we're working on the attitude, attention, attachment, and so on. Right, we'll start with introducing her food, which is tiny pellets for puppies. So we'll have a couple of hundreds of those in the bowl, and a portion of the wet food, which a lot of people mix together. I'll show you how I do it in a second. And one or two bits at a time will be delivered to the pup, bit by bit, um, extending the session to perhaps what, about five minutes. Right, we will start with the very basics. Betty, here's the girl. Yes, you can guess. Her name is Betty. Good. Betty. Now, by the time we start yelling uh, Betty in the park, she would have heard this name probably several thousand times. Betty. Good. Betty. Oh, what a good girl. Betty. You are a star. Oh, well done. Betty. Nice. Betty. Good. Betty. Right, as you can see, uh, with these many tiny biscuits, I don't have any risk of overfeeding her, providing her with anything inadequate, or uh, basically having not enough reinforcement. This time, we will be just going on and on and on, encouraging the dog to do pretty much anything that the young puppy needs to learn. Well, following. Following exercises are very easy to do. The hand moves from A to B. It's a very early stages, you can see she's just not confident enough, but really puts a lot of effort in. So it moves from A to B. Good. Nice. Well, luckily, the biscuits are sort of small enough, so it doesn't take a long to chew those. Good. Well done. These, is, these are the basics of your heel work, following you in the park, walking along the road with you. So, but to start with, we don't need much space. Well, it's all down at the close range. These are the beginner stages. Right, okay, let's start building up a little bit of a fancy move there. A little of a circular move. And one way and the other. Once we are well on the way, and as you can see, she's getting it rather well, we can start introducing a proper command. So this will be a spin. Good girl. And a twirl. Oh, what a twirl. Let's try it again. Hey. Oh, Betty. Good girl. Distraction. Betty. Good girl. Betty. Good girl. I love that. Very nice. Yes, we can still feed with the distractions nearby. Oh, that's a star. That's really outstanding for the section one. Session one. Right. <coughs> Two. Good girl, and she's returned back to the feeding station. Oh, excellent, Betty. Right. Anyway, as you can see, the puppy is free, and she's off lead, so she's giving a choice of where to be and what to do. So obviously at some point, she'll want to go to the toilet, go and have a drink of water, or just simply play around. That, well, basically she will signal me when she needs a little break. Right, anyway, we're continuing. It's just a breakfast time, so we're still going through about, I don't know, 80% uh, of her food. So I could use maybe two or three biscuits at a time if needed. So that's just to save time. People say they don't have time to train their dogs. The whole session will take me just outside of five minutes. And that's what, two or three times a day? That's more than I need. Right, Betty's going to see the other dogs. Right, let's see if we can get her back. Betty! Oh, and she's sprinting in. Oh, what a star. What a star. So, where were we? We were at the twirl. Hey, hey. Nice. And twirl. Good girl. Good girl. Betty. Oh, she dropped the biscuit. And a spin. Good. Nice. Well, as you can see, she's volunteering uh, a sit. So, let's do a few of those. Sit. Reward. And this way. Sit. Reward. So, we're beginning to chain a few things together. So she's walking, stopping, seating, being rewarded, walking, stopping, and so on. So now, an interesting thing is, we're linking those things together. So they're becoming, oh, well done, and sit. Uh, I'm feeling up the pauses. Good girl. All right, we will try to get Betty into a little dig. Oh, she is outstanding. 
well done. Never mind, she made a mistake and jumped up a little. We can always get out of that mistake with a little bit of practice. But this spine is not designed to be begging for a long time, so we will repeat it two or three times. And just as long as she shows her intention to do it, we will move on to the next exercise. That will be a down. Down also doesn't have to be a full down, so I want to see the intention. I want to see her ambition to do it. And as you can see, she has been absolutely a star. So Ditty, a down. Very nice. You can see how calm and relaxed my commands are. Why? Because the dog works on my side. Always gives you a great advantage. You don't have to make the dog do it. You just have to give her a chance to earn the biscuit. And now she knows that the next biscuit comes when she does it well. Right. So this is the very beginning of her downs. But we will go into the down and back. Hey, down. Good. And back into the seat. Good. Down. Hey, that was not very good. Down. Good. And back into seat. Lovely. Right. Good. Smashing. We will leave the stand for a little later and we'll try to int introduce the paw. The paw is a very easy command to teach. Uh, biscuits are concealed in your hand. The dog tries to claw them out. She gets rewarded. And we move on. We need a strong skill of paw. Reward. Good. Paw. Reward and so on. We're slowly going through her food. Well, mix it with something very lightweight, like, hey, this way, good girl. This way, good girl. So, nothing is boring, nothing takes a long time, so we have a little bit of fun there. Now, this you will love. Good. Betty, over. Nice. All puppies, every single one of them, is born to go for their food pretty much like that. So this is the ambition you want to have in every single dog you train. But most dogs unfortunately lose it by the time they're what, five, six, seven months of age. So, and that's thanks to the owners. So I'm not saying that you should be hand feeding a dog, you know, when they grow up. No, you should just simply keep the interest in you, in food, in rewards, and treats. You can play train the dog just as well, just the amount of repetitions given cannot be done with the toy, I'm afraid. Otherwise, it will take a lot of strain and a lot of time. Right, okay, let's do a slightly different exercise. So this time we will ask, the, ask Betty to stay. Good girl, stay. Good girl, even the first time I stay can still demonstrate a few seconds of a nice stay, reliable stay. Before building them up, I want to make sure that stay, <laughs> That wasn't that great. Stay uh, reliable and just about to be extended. Right. So I wouldn't rush forward and start walking away from her stay until she just realized what stay actually is. Stay, you're going to be rewarded for doing stay. Absolutely nothing, little ditty. Stay, very good. Stay, smashing. Stay, so, oh, stay. Good, so in the space of last state, 20 seconds, we've done <coughs> about 10 of those. State, very good. State, fantastic. Let's make one longer one. State, and yay, that was very good. State, and drop the level of difficulty right down. State, good girl, so nothing seems too much for her. Good girl, well done. Now, husbandry exercises. Cuddling up is one of the most important skills for any growing dog. She needs to learn to love being touched and stroked. So, of course, we will pair it with a huge number of reinforcements. You can see how I'm feeding her pretty much at leisure. Uh, so, touch and stroke, good. Reward. Yes, fiddle with her ears and eyes, reward. Good. Reward. Nice. Good, well done. This is when she's getting used to seeing the hand for what it is. It's not a chewing toy. Good. It's not a button to press when you want attention. This is just a commodity. It's right there. It's pleasant to have around because every single time you want a biscuit, you have to wait. Stay. Oh, gorgeous. And very nice. Beautiful. And a bit more. We are slowly 
coming to an end of the bowl. There's about 10% of it left. So we are going slowly into little mechanical manipulations. The dog will need to learn to handle a little bit of things which she might not volunteer to do, like being lifted, being touched, being even led a little bit over an inch or two. Good. Good. This way. Good girl. So that way she will never have any objection to being helped into the car or being led, well, from A to B. So this is something the dog will happily grow up wanting to do. Oh, well done. That's the collar, the word. As you can see, I've never put much food on her. She doesn't need to. She's a right at the beginning of her training, so everything should be kept at a very simplistic level. Good. Let's see if she has any teeth there. Oh, beautiful teeth. As you can see, she <laughs> she's trying to have a little say there, but we're still going to be rewarding her on and on and on just for doing that. Attention span is also something that will very quickly build up. Having exercises done at such a pace. Within a week this dog will happily work with you for, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. So, well, we're still continuing. Right, so back to over. Nice, bitchy. Over. Nice. Bitchy. Over. Again, jumping exercises are not great for young pups, but they do want the coordination to start developing now. Not, oh, that was very good. Over. <laughs> not when she's already grown up and sort of smashes into fences, being asked to do something. And over. Good. Same way as introducing the tunnel. Good. Betty. Under. Very nice. Betty. <laughs> under. Smashing. Good. And a longer tunnel. Under. Very good. Betty. Under. Excellent. Nice. Over. Over. Nice. And under. Well, we start changing things together. Maybe a bit too early. I would guess. <laughs> right. She seemed to be enjoying it. And we still have to run out of our food. Uh, bitchy bitchy. Bitchy bitchy. Right, let's give her a little bit more. As you can see, there are just a few keyboards left there. Now, good. Well done. Betty, come. Nice. Good girl. Betty, come. Hey, hey. Betty, come. I did entice her a little bit. There is nothing wrong with bribery and corruption. Come. Very good. So this will be our very last biscuit. See what happens now. Betty, Betty. So this is where, oh, your wet food will also be entered. Some people don't like touching it, so, well, I would suggest using the disposable gloves. Uh, just simply a hanky at the end of it, so you end up nice and clean. Right, a little bit. This food is of a much higher value, so of course she will love it, and when she's just about to get tired or bored with it, like suddenly, She's having a second wing there. Oh, well done. So, again, bit by bit, as you can see, there's still tiny chunks of that food over there. And suddenly, she is intending to do it all once again. She's learning to use her mouth properly. She's learning not to jump her, her jaws uh, on my hand. So, hand fed dogs rarely buy hands or trousers or chase children. Well, providing the children will we'll offer them that opportunity. Right, it's right there. Right, a little bit, it's on the floor. Oh, good girl. And this way, Betty, come. So you can be pretty much doing the same very thing. This way, reward. This way, reward. Oh, good girl. She is a star. So, as you can see, the tension has not interrupted in the last, what, five minutes? So we're just about to finish the wet food as well. This is uh, about the breakfast allowance. Pity! <laughs> and she's slightly distracted. Who is barking there? Just wait, your turn will come. Hey! <laughs> and I think she's had enough. Well, we're nearly there. Oh no, she's coming back. Just wait there. Good girl, Betty. 
Betty, Betty. Oh, that's my girl. Well, she is gonna have to get used to it. So hopefully in a session or two, we'll film her working with other dogs beside her and being really good at ignoring it. Betty, Betty. Hey, <laughs> just wait. Good. Nice. Yes, I will, I will finish this because yeah, she's been a star. So honestly, usually I would be probably stopping right there. But she still seems to be slightly you know, distracted, but still quite keen on doing everything she needs to do. I absolutely love working with distractions. Maybe not from the very beginning of her training, but good girl, Betty. Nice. But this will be an essential part of our study. Good. And you can see an empty ball. Happy dog. Well, she'll be a very tired, relaxed dog after this. We, have, we had a very good night, surprisingly. With new dog in the new house, she was so exhausted after her dinner meal. 10 or 15 minutes of that at night. Oh, you want more? All I can let you do is to lick your bowl. Well, this is how we can feed our puppies. So she's with us for, uh, what, about two weeks? And during those two weeks, well, she'll have pretty much, what, uh, 40, 45 sessions of the hand feeding. So we're talking about, well, several thousands of uh, reinforcement. Right.